It was given to my father from his grandfather. I'm next in line to, to inherit it, and we don't much know much about it. Um, it was appraised in 1991, and they estimated that it was from about 1820, and it's French. I love the little illustration on the front, and also it plays music, and that's one of the best parts. The case is made out of 18 karat gold. It's a solid gold watch. I would date it about 1830. Okay. It's a key wound watch, key set. You've got the keys right here for the watch. Mm -hmm. Musical watches are quite rare. You told me you didn't even know it was musical and you were just playing with it maybe <laughs> yesterday and you heard music go off on mm -hmm. it. The watch was made in France. What's really wonderful is this face on it or the dial of the watch and we have an early American flag on there so mm -hmm. the subject matter is phenomenal. That's porcelain enamel. It's all hand painted, and then you have this gold that's on top of the dial there. You notice at the center how it's indented a little bit right there? That is called a bullseye crystal. Can't get those today. <laughs> and if we turn it over, this back, the French called it guilloche, or we call it engine turning. They engrave the back of the case. I'm going to just open it up here. First, we look at the inner cover of the watch. In French, that's called a cuvette, and it was a dust cover to protect the movement of the watch. You can see there's two holes. Both of those are for winding the watch, not for setting. The arrows are engraved on here so that you didn't accidentally turn it, turn it in the wrong way. direction and damage it. You have two different mechanisms in the watch. The smaller barrel that's what holds the mainspring inside. Mm -hmm. That's the one that you would wind to run the watch. And there's a larger barrel here. And that is the spring that powers the musical part of the watch. This watch played music in two different ways. It would play music on the hour if you wanted it to. And then there was a button that plays it on demand. And that was the button that you hit by accident <laughs> and it started playing music. That must have been a surprise, it right? Was, I it mean, was. did you think it broke it at first? <laughs> yes. or, or, like, you know, wait a minute, what's all that noise coming out of it? We're going to play this right now. What did you think the value of it was? When it was appraised in 1991, they estimated about 2500 A musical watch in gold today, a nice example of one. Would, would probably bring somewhere between $5,000 and $8,000. But we have this spectacular face on this watch. It's a harbor scene. It's flawless. A watch collector would love it, a person that loves musical music boxes, anything musical, and then Americana because of the American flag on it. An auction value today, I would put on it with all these features on it. I think this watch would easily bring between $15,000 and $20,000. Wow, that is quite the shock. It's been in the safety deposit for like 20 years. So wow, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. The dial, that's the first one I've ever seen like that really? on, on a musical watch like this. So it, it's quite nice.